My name is Calvin Smith from Direct Force Fighting Techniques. Welcome to my video blog, Fighting Chance, your go-to resource on self-defense. Now today's topic that I'll be discussing is everyday items, everyday purse items, used as weapons. Now, most of you think, well, if I don't have a gun or a knife, I really don't have a weapon. <clears throat> but today, I'm going to cover items that you carry, well, most women carry in their purses that are great weapons. I'm going to start with the pen. Pen is a great weapon. It has a sharp end, and it's pointy, and it also, it can puncture the skin which causes excruciating pain. Now, I grab the pen like this. There's very variations on ways that you can you, you can grab and strike, but I, I like to do it this way. Put my thumb to the back of the pen. This way it causes, keeps the pen from sliding back and forth once making contact with your attacker. And don't worry so much about fancy techniques just strike and hit where you can. You can go forward, up and down, sideways. Now, in a real life situation, you're going to be striking and hitting just to defend you and save your life. But if you can, it would be great to hit primary targets. Go for the eyes, go for the face, go for the ears, the neck. Anything exposed, just stab and jab and stick. Cause as much pain as possible. Now, the next, the keys. Now, the keys, very similar to the pen because basically you're just puncturing and causing pain. But the added advantage to the keys is that they can be used as distraction. If you feel you're being overwhelmed by your attacker, take the keys, throw it in their face, or just throw it in their direction to cause them to flinch. The minute they flinch, that split second, take off and run. Get out of there, save your life. The next one is the cell phone. Now most people think of the cell phone in a crisis situation to be used only to call 911 or a friend or something. But the cell phone is a great weapon because it has weight and it's hard. Now, once you strike the opponent, because of the hardness of the cell phone and the weight, it causes better and a harder impact once you attack your opponent. Now, again, you're fighting for your life. You swing and you strike. If you can, go for the temple. It'll cause permanent, it can cause permanent damage, possibly kill your attacker. Go for the collarbone, which is very, very extreme pain once you make contact there. And also the mouth. A nice strike to the mouth can cause your opponent to, your teeth to break, cause a large gash in the mouth and the lips. Last but not least is the self, I mean the credit card, sorry, credit card. Kind of the same method as a pen, put in the palm of your hand, but bend this one. And the great thing about it is that it's small. No one expects someone to use their credit card for a weapon, so the element of surprise is everything. So if you can strike primary areas, again, the exposed areas, go for them. And also, in any of these weapons, if you are being grabbed, take that weapon and strike your opponent's hands. This will cause that opponent, that your attacker or opponent to release. Get out of there. You're fighting for your life. You're not trying to win a UFC championship. Now, in conclusion, this is the holidays and women and children are the easiest targets to a robber or a criminal. Just know that you are always armed whether you have keys, cell phone, pen, whatever. Use these items to save your life. I want all of you to come back next year and we'll go even deeper. I just touched on the surface of weapons that can be used 
uh, to fight against your attacker. Let's do this again next year. My name is Calvin Smith from Direct Force Fighting Techniques. Thank you for your time. I will see you next year.